Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. So Squarespace's Fluid Engine has made it much easier to customize your Squarespace website on mobile, but it's not perfect. We can't blame Squarespace for this because not all phones are the same size. So what might look great in Squarespace's mobile view may not look so good on your actual phone. Or it might look great on your phone, but not on your friend's phone. There's not much that can be done about that. But sometimes you can take things a step further by using a little bit of code and creating an entirely different section for mobile than what you are using for desktop. And I would encourage you to do this when you have to because it's likely that most people are actually viewing your website on their phones. You can check your website analytics and see for yourself. You may have already read my blog post, how to hide blocks and sections in Squarespace from mobile. But if you wanna know how you can customize your Squarespace website for mobile even further with this easy solution, then keep watching. First things first, you'll need to install the Squarespace block identifier extension into Google Chrome if you haven't already. I'll include the link below this video. Once installed into your browser, it's going to look like this. It's this one right here. If you're working in Squarespace and doing any sort of CSS, it's a must. It's super easy to use. Once installed, just click on the icon to see every ID from collections, index pages, sections, and blocks like these on your Squarespace page. Then you can simply click on the ID to copy it and use it in your own code super easy. And when you want to shut it off, you just click it again. So the first thing you're going to do is design and lay out your sections. Chances are you've already laid out your desktop section to perfection and determine that it doesn't look very good on mobile. And that's why you're here, right? So the first thing you're going to do is add a section right underneath this one, a section that you're going to use on mobile and edit just for mobile. I usually recommend just making a duplicate of this section to start so you're not totally reinventing the wheel. So all you have to do is select this right here. Switch on over to the mobile view and edit to your heart's content. This section will only be visible on mobile, so don't hold back. What a great sense of freedom it is, isn't it? Okay, that looks much better. Now that you have one section that looks great on desktop and one that looks great on mobile, it's time to add some CSS. So you're going to select website, scroll all the way to the bottom and select website tools, and then custom CSS. So the first bit of code that we're going to enter here is going to hide the mobile version of your section from desktop. So you're going to come over to my blog post and you're going to copy this entire code. Come back over to the website and paste it. Add a description here so you don't forget what this code is for. Then you're going to select the Chrome extension block identifier and locate the section that you want to hide from desktop. And it's right here. And you're going to select the section ID. So this represents this entire section. And when you click it, you can see it automatically copies to the clipboard. Come back over to your code and select all of this text. And you're gonna know this is the right text because it's very similar to what you're seeing over here. Now paste it. I'm gonna click on the block identifier again just to get all that messiness out of the way. And as you can see, you have a gorgeous banner here and you can see that the version that we created for mobile has been hidden. Now we're going to do the same thing, but in this case, we're going to hide the desktop version from mobile. So from my blog post, you're going to copy this little code snippet, come back over to your website, paste it. Don't forget to put your description in. And we know that this is the section that we want to hide from mobile. So we're gonna click on the block identifier again in our Chrome extension, select the section, come over to the code, select all of this text and paste it. Now we won't know if this is working or not, until we toggle over to mobile view. Ta-da, it worked. Now you've probably noticed that these codes are very similar. The difference is that this code snippet describes the size of the screen as being no smaller than 768 pixels wide. And the code snippet here 
describes the screen size as being no greater than 767 pixels wide, meaning that the first code will only hide that section on screens that are 768 pixels wide or larger, and the code below will only hide that section on screens that are 767 pixels wide or smaller. Does that make sense? That's it. So easy, right? I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Maybe share this with someone who you think could use a little help with this. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.